people have let us down. The Bible tells us, put not your trust in man, for man will deceive you. How many have been deceived? How many deceived somebody? <laughs> Amen. He said, put not your trust in man. A lot of things that was told to us, some things never transpired. Because we got a time when the enemy just talking and talking and talking and telling us we're this and we're that. We'll never be this, we'll never be that. And we listen to lies. Because the enemy has nothing but lies Amen. to tell us. And we have to be so careful. We're listening to lies when Satan is talking to us. Satan is the father of lies. So when he speaks, when, when, when he's talking, you know that's a lie. Because he'll put a scripture in it. And like he told Eve, you won't surely die. But what did God say? If they eat of the fruit of the tree of God, good and evil, they was going to die. But he came and threw a monkey bridge in it and said, surely you won't die. In other words, God lied to you. So guess what? God is not a man that he should lie. So we know who's talking. Anything that's contrary to the word of God is a what? Lie. And Satan is a liar. And see, he speaks lies. He's doing everything to interrupt the flow of the Holy Spirit in us. That's his job, to bring doubt, fear, unbelief. He's a master deceiver. You can wake up in the middle of the night and have a terrible dream. <coughs> Who is that? Satan. Amen. You can have nightmares. Satan. Amen. God is only good and God is good all the time. God only wants the best for you. God is working everything for your good. And when sometimes good things are happening to you, you can be in the midst of rejoicing and boom! Amen. A thought comes and blows your heart.
the reason for something. The reason for something. It was so then, and it's still so now. That means certainly it is so. Spiritual laws govern the spirit realm. How many know that? Amen. Spiritual laws govern the spirit realm. But they also govern the natural realm. Do y'all understand? Amen. So the spiritual realm rules. Amen. The spiritual realm rules. The spiritual realm rules. Also, it governs the natural realm because everything in the natural realm came from the spirit realm. Everything came Amen. from the spirit. We are spirit. Oh, my Come on. We are spirit. We have a soul. We live in a body, but we are spirit. We are spirit. We are spirit beings. And God gave us a body to come to earth. Amen. You could not have come here if God did not send you here. God is the giver of life. I don't care what nobody said about your birth or what, what brought you here. God brought you here. Your mom and daddy just got together. You understand? Those are the laws. When the sperm and the egg meet, can produce a baby. They say it's millions of sperms that swim into that egg. Swimming. They're trying to outswim each other. They get to that egg. But God knew which sperm. No one. He know which sperm was going to get to the end because he brought you forth. He brought us forth. You understand? He's the creator of life. And you hear a man that's trying to clone this and clone that. God is the giver of life. God gave life. God is life. Jesus said, I am the way. So what I gotta do if I'm saved? I gotta 
gotta block you from knowing the truth. I gotta put you to sleep when you open up your Bible. I gotta make you tired. Oh, I'm so tired I can't open up my Bible. Oh, I'm so tired I can't pray. Oh, I'm so tired now. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. But guess what? When I was out in the world and I had a job, I stayed out there all night Friday night. I stayed out all night Saturday night. I stayed out all night, all night Sunday night. But one day more, I got the little room. I wasn't that tired. <laughs> but, but when it comes to the word of God, we get kind of lazy. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? We don't want to do it. And those are thoughts that come straight from Satan. Because the closer you get to God, sin. Yes, I see it starts dropping off the closer you get. So that's his job to block and stop your progress from getting closer to God. Because when you get closer to God, you're more like God every day. He already made you in his image and his likeness. But guess what? You got to grow. You got to mature in the world. That's what you got to do. And that's not anybody's job but yours. He gave you his word. You can't depend on nobody else. Men can help you to learn the word, but you got to take it in. You got to receive it. You got to receive it. You got to receive it in your heart. And the word will manifest. God is not a man that he should not. Why am I not seeing God moving my life so the God? Why? What's happening? I've been praying. I've been fasting. I've been doing all that. What condition is your heart in? You can fast, pray. Slob at the mouth. Uh -huh. Your heart. What is in your heart? Are you truly worshiping God in spirit and truth? All things natural, all things physical are governed by that which is spiritual. <clears throat> spiritual laws can overcome natural laws. Spiritual laws can overcome natural laws. Spiritual laws can overcome natural laws. When Jesus went by the fig tree and saw it had leaves. Come on. And it seemed like it had figs. But guess what? When he got up on it, no figs. And then he cursed the fig tree. He spoke to the fig tree. What did I just say? Spiritual laws supersedes natural laws. Jesus walked fully in the spirit. But guess what? We are supposed to do the same things that Jesus did. Amen. He said, and greater work shall you do because I'm going to my father. We are the works that Jesus did. I'm not talking about the greater work. I'm talking about the work that Jesus did. Why are we not doing what Jesus did? Why? Why are we not raising the dead? Healing the sick, opening blind eyes, setting the captive sick free. Why? He said, In my name. In my name is power. The devil don't want you to know you already got the power in you. You got it. You got it. You got it. You're not using what you got. You got the power of God, reservation power on the inside. We got to mature, saints, brothers and sisters. We got to mature and come up to the spirit realm because we're still walking in the natural realm. Walking in the spirit. That's what we're missing. Because we think, I thought for many years, I was walking in the spirit. And I was walking in my flesh. I wonder why this and that. Flesh. You know, every time I try to go up high with God, guess what? That gravity, sin was always pulling me down. But guess what? It was nobody's fault but mine. Because I had to get deep into the word. I had to know what God said about me. Let's turn to Hebrews 11 and 3. Hebrews 11 and 3. 
It was so then, and it's still so now. It was so then, and it's still so now. It was so then, and it's still no now. It was so then, and it's still so now. It's still so now. It was back then in the Bible days, and it's now. Okay? Say no. Hebrews 11 and 3. Hebrews 11 and 3. Okay. Okay, I'm going to read Hebrews 11 and 3. Through faith, we understand that the world was framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which to appear. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which to appear. Listen, my brothers, very carefully, and my sisters. The key to everything. Somebody say, the key to everything. Yeah, yeah. The key to everything. Say it again. The key to everything. The key to everything. The key to everything. All right. The key to everything, every situation, every circumstance, every opposition, every problem, even a problem in your health, a problem in your finances, a problem in your family, everything that affects your life, every care that weighs you down, everything that impacts your life negatively, negatively, the remedy can be found in the Word of God. That's where your answer is. All that stuff that's coming against you, all those bad and ill feelings, when you feel down and out, your remedy is the Word of God. Your remedy is what? The word of God. Your remedy is the word of God. So my remedy is, my remedy is the, word of God. the word of God. My remedy is, my remedy is the, word of God. the word of God. That's my remedy. Okay, we're going to go to uh, verse 26. We're going to go to Genesis 1. Genesis 1. Yeah, we're going to go to 26. But let's start at verse number three. Let's start at three. One, three. Yeah, let's go one, three. Uh, we're not going to read it all. I just want to try to get to the end of this lesson. Amen. 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 Genesis 1 and verse 3. Now, our subject is, it was so then and it's still Don't. so now. It was so then and it's still Don't. so now. Okay. Genesis 1 and 3, God said, let there be light, and it is still so now. Okay, y'all got to get me out a little bit, okay? God said, let there be light, and it's still so now. Come on now. God said, let there be light, and it's still so now. Amen. Y'all got it? Okay. God said, let there be light. God said, let there be light and it's still so now. God said, let there be light and it's still so now. God said, let there be light and it's still so now. Praise him, everybody. Let's go to verse 6. It said, let there be a firmament in the midst of waters and let it divide the waters from the waters and it's still so now. 
and let the dry land appear. And it's still so down. And it's still so down. It's still so down. It's still so down. All right, let's go to verse 11. Y'all ready? And God said that the earth bring forth grass, the earth yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it's still it's so down. down. Amen. Amen. Let's go to verse 15. And let them be for life in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, and it's still it's so down. down. All right, let's go to verse 24. Y'all ready? And God said that the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beast of the earth after his kind. And it's still so now. And it's still so now. Let's go to verse 30. Y'all ready? Yeah. And God said that the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind. And it's still so now. Okay. Verse 30. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green earth of meat. And it's still so now. And it's still so now. God spoke it then. And it's still so now. God spoke it then. And it's still so now. God spoke it then. And it's still so now. Let's go to Numbers 23 19. Y'all ready to ride?
don't work with us. God is not a man that he should lie. Life and death is in the power of God. It's muscle in your mouth. These things, my brothers and sisters, should not be this way. 
both fresh and bitter water? Can a fig tree, my brothers and sisters, produce olives? Or a grapevine produce figs? Nor can salt water produce fresh. We gotta be careful. But no one can tame the human tongue. No one. God help us. Lord God, let's turn it. Let's go to verse 13. James, same chapter 3 and 13. Praise God. Who among you is wise and intelligent? Let him by his good conduct show his good deeds with the gentleness and humility of true wisdom. But if you have bitter, jealousy, and selfish ambition in your hearts, from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The mouth speaks. Do not be arrogant. Come on. And as a result, be a defiance of the we defying God. Amen. We are going against the word of God when we talk foolish. Yeah. We're supposed to talk wholesome. People us when they hear us talk, they should know we love the Lord. Amen. But some of us have something in conversation, cussing and fussing. Swearing and all of that, and you can't tell if you, you you like Christ or not. Amen. You got to show the people Jesus. You got to talk Jesus. You got to live the life. You got to live the life. Christ is living His life through us and how we act. The Holy Spirit is living in us. Grieve not the Holy Spirit. Our conversations are sometimes so terrible. Lord God, this. Superficial on the top. This superficial wisdom is not that which comes down from above, but is earthly, secular, natural, unspiritual, even demonic. That's in the Bible. Demonic. We're talking a conversation that's pleasant to demons. Demons are clapping their hands when we talk about foolish. Contrary. You better say, you remember, God said those things contrary to the word of God. The devil is clapping and saying, uh-huh, I got that tongue. But guess what? If you say, Holy Spirit, please help me. Please help me. Don't let me say nothing that you don't want me to say. Help me, Holy Spirit, because help me, God. I, I, I've been talking foolish. Amen. And I realized that I was agreeing with Satan. Amen. Yeah. Please Amen. help me. When I, when I get ready to say something, Holy Spirit, that's not pleasant, not pure, lovely, of good report, help me not to say it. Help me, Lord. Put a check in my spirit. Put a check in my spirit and say, don't say that. Help me, Holy Spirit, because we're growing, all of us. Help me, Holy Spirit, not to talk against my sisters and brothers. Help me not to say anything that you did not say about me. Help me not to talk against myself. Amen. But the wisdom, verse 17, but the wisdom of the Bible is first pure, morally and spiritually undefiled. Then peace-loving, courteous, considerate, gentle, reasonable, and willing to listen. Uh-oh. Then I got y'all right now. I caught you. Listen. I caught you. I got you. I got you. Willing to listen. I got you that little Uh-huh. Willing to listen. Come on. And when somebody points something out yeah. about you, like what you're doing wrong, because guess what? We can't see ourselves. Well, somebody else sometimes have to tell us, oh, Sister Connie, that's wrong. You can't do that. And I might get offended at first, but then guess what? The Holy Spirit, now if I'm walking in the Spirit, the Holy Spirit say, you need to apologize. You need to Amen. know that that's you, and you need to, to uh, repent. Because it's me. Because you know when somebody first tells you you're wrong, a wall comes up. You get angry because yeah. the truth hurts. Amen. But the blessed fruit of love is first pure, morally, and spiritually undefiled, then peace, loving, courteous, considerate, gentle, reasonable, and willing to listen, full of compassion. I got somebody like that too. Full of compassion. Full of compassion. Full of compassion. Full of love. It is unwavering without selfish righteousness. Hypocrisy and self-serving God. 
and the seed whose fruit is righteous, spiritually mature, is sown in peace by those who make a peace. Blessing out of peace means. Active, actively encouraging goodwill between individuals. How many are trying to keep peace in here? How many are trying to really keep peace in this place? How many are trying to keep peace in their lives? Okay. That's what we're going to say this right quick. And, and, it's, it, and it's still so now. Remember? And it's still so now. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. And it is so now. You sent your word and you healed us and you delivered us from our destructions. And it is so now. You took our infirmities and you brought our sickness. And it is so now. Because we made the Lord which our refuge, even the most high our habitation, there shall no evil befall us, because shall any plague come not our dwelling, when you have given your angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways. And it is still so now. The blessing of the Lord make the rich and no sorrow with it. And it is still so now. But we shall remember the Lord our God, for it is he that giveth us power to get wealth. And it is still so now. Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. And it is still so now.